Hi family, welcome to Holy Communion where we break bread. So today we're doing Genesis 11. Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel. The Bible says the whole world spoke in one language and the people were one. And they had settled eastward in Shinar. So now they decided to bake bricks instead of stone and they used tar for mortar. And decided that let us let us build a city for ourselves, a tower that reaches to the heaven to make a name for ourselves. Now, just this um, point of scripture, I realized that this shows the faithfulness of God and this shows just how God is mightier because the Bible says he knows the end from the beginning. He's Alpha and he's Omega. So if God knows the end from the beginning, God always knew about his son, Jesus Christ. So, and these people said, let us make a name for ourselves. But we know that the Lord God Almighty said, I have given Jesus Christ the name that is above any other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess. So this could have contradicted what God had always planned and had always known because he is omniscient, omnipotent and omnipresent. And so now the people decided that they want to make a name for themselves and they want to be their own gods. They wanted to build a tower that reaches to the heavens. Now, the Bible says in verse six, the Lord said, if as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. You see, the, the, the beauty about this is that God has placed his word above his himself that if as christians we come together and we agree on the plan of advancing the kingdom of heaven nothing shall be impossible for us the reason why the power is so um we are not reaching the extent of power we should as christians is because there is so much division um, among us and this is because the enemy knows that it is written in genesis chapter 11 verse 6 that if people become one and they are one in their planning in what they want to do nothing shall be impossible for them defeat for him is automatic but if if he has anything to do with it, he will make sure that as Christians, there is always a division. There is always ridiculing. There is always this Christian is not saying the right things. There is always judgment that we are not praying for one another. We are not interceding for those that need to come into the knowledge of Christ. So in verse 7, it says, come, let us go. Uh, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. What I love about verse 7 is that God is the one who confirms his own Godhead. His God, God's Godhead is the, the tripartite head in terms of he's got the Father, got the Son, and got the Holy Spirit. He didn't say, let me go down and confuse the people. He said, let us go down. This takes us back to understanding Genesis 1 when he says, in the beginning, the, 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 the earth was void and the Spirit of God was hovering upon the deep. Now the Spirit was there. The, then God is the one who spoke the word, the word which is Jesus. As we go on in, the, in our Bible study, we will understand Understand why Jesus is the word. The tripartite head was always there even from the beginning. Now here again in Genesis 11 verse 7 he says let us go. So it is important that we acknowledge God the Father, we acknowledge God the Son and we most importantly acknowledge God the Spirit because the Spirit is one that is operational on the earth. He said, I will send you a helper. The spirit, when he come, he will reveal all truth to you. He will always lead you to the father. He will always lead you to Jesus. So God says, let us go and confuse them. The God could not have it because the very people, they are 
dwelling in sin. They are engulfed in sin. They cannot rescue themselves. It's that um, thing where they say a blind person cannot lead another blind person. They need You need a, 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 a person who can see to lead a person who is blind. So it was not possible for what the New Testament has, has brought us, the grace that came, the mercy that came, the, the, the price that was paid would the people would have been so pompous in themselves to think themselves as God because they had built a tower that reaches to the heavens. They would think they are one with God. When God confused them to have different types of languages. See, I, the beauty of the scripture, what it's saying to me is that although God confused the people in the beginning based on their hearts of wanting to elevate themselves and become their own God, is that when Christians right now all over the world remember we are one spirit with him he reconciled us to himself of jesus what the spirit gives you as a believer of jesus christ and what the spirit gives me can never contradict each other god is a god of order so when these people who say they are christian operating in one spirit there should be an understanding that we are planning for kingdom advancement for the world to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ nothing shall be impossible for us the reason why a lot is happening right now is that we are not one as Christians though we serve one God the Bible says they that are one united with God are one spirit with him so we need to get to a place where we unite as Christians Nonetheless, the Bible says they were scattered all over the world now because they couldn't understand each other and they didn't finish building the tower. So the tower was called the Tower of Babel because this is the place where God caused the confusion between people to say, you cannot be God unto yourselves. Already you are in knowledge of evil from the time of Adam and Eve. So if you guys plan to do something, it will only be for selfish ambitions to make a name for yourself, not for the glory of the Lord. So what we learn is that everything we do should be done for the glory of the Lord. Everything, whether you eat, you drink, you sleep, it is unto the Father. We do this unto the Father to glorify the Lord and the Lord will in turn raise us up to places where we desire to be. Family, I hope today we learned a lot in the scripture of Genesis 11. I will finish it as we go on into knowing all about Abraham. God bless you.